The reason why I don't talk about Alex Jones more is because, um, you know, I have so much on my mind about moderators and philosophically about moderators that I don't specify moderators usually. But since um, one of my friends asked nicely, I will talk about Alex Jones some more. Um, you know, what gets me about Alex Jones is he's kind of like a right-wing version of the Amazing ATA. I mean, think about it. They're both loud. They're both obnoxious. They both teeter on that so-called edgy, politically incorrect spectrum, but yet do so in a conveniently safe way. They both never talk about something that could actually get them in trouble with anything. They always just talk about the most vague, enormously arbitrary concepts. Like, Amazing Atheist talks about Republicans. Who really likes Republicans? Republicans don't like Republicans. And that's all he ever fucking talks about. Same goes with Alex Jones. Alex Jones will not name names. You will never see him actually say by name these people that control our everyday lives. And I have news for you. People know that they control our everyday lives. You don't have to tell them. People know that their lives are a facade. They know at the end of the day, there is an elite group of people that rule over all of the land, all of the resources. The thing is, people don't fucking care. But the issue becomes, they should care. So how do you get people to care? It, it's not about enlightening them. They already know shit's going down. They already know they're not free. But how do you make them be concerned about that? How do you motivate them to understand the implications of not being free? That's the issue. Alex Jones is not going to talk about that. Because Alex Jones is making money off of stupid people who just want to hear the truth. The truth. What fucking truth? You already know the truth. Your life is a lie. You go to work every day and then you fucking die. What more truth do you need? The truth is, you are entitled to more than you're getting. So how are you going to go about getting it? That's what it really comes down to. And Alex Jones doesn't want to talk about that. In fact, if Alex Jones really believes that there was this Illuminati force, why doesn't he just release the documents that he gets? Instead of talking about it, why doesn't he, when he gets a, a you know, piece of paper on his desk, just put it on PDF file for all of us to read? That way we can read it ourselves and assess the situation. You know, because it would be a lot more informative for him to just put it out there than for him to just spew three hours about how the Illuminati is going to kill us all. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's some truth to that, Alex Jones. The Illuminati is coming to get us all. But for some reason, they haven't gotten you yet. Anyway, but why not just put the fucking shit out there for people to read? It'd be so much simpler. It would, you know, not only get pe the truth out there, it would also get people to see the exact truth in detail, uh, but then he wouldn't make the money. See, that's the thing. It's not about the truth. It's not about getting people motivated. It's about making fucking money. And that's why he bans people. He bans people because he wants people to follow him. He doesn't want people to discuss the truth. He doesn't want people to discuss how to make things better. And that's a very despicable person to be. And why are we putting up with that? Why is anybody putting up with that? Why is Mark Anthony making excuses for moderators when this is all they exist for? All they live to do is to screw people over, exploit them, take advantage of a situation, and basically just manipulate their emotions in order to make money and to gain glory. How, why are we tolerating that? Why should I, as a human being, tolerate that? There's, there's no answer for it, because there isn't an answer for it. They just accept it because, well, they're evil and they're stupid. People like Mark Anthony are just fucking evil and fucking stupid. And if he's such a Christian, then I hope he knows damn well that he's going to burn in hell. Because that's just a simple matter of it. They accept the evil. They worship the evil. They don't question it. They don't try in any way to disregard it or to objectify it. They're just like, that's the way things are. You know, if you want, if I can find a way, I will link you to a picture that I found on the internet that it was a scientific experiment. What they did was they got five monkeys and there was a banana at the top of the ladder. Anytime uh, a monkey tried to reach the top of the ladder to get the banana, 
there would be a shower that would spray down on the other monkeys. Eventually, the monkeys knew that whenever someone would try to climb the ladder to the banana, they were going to get sprayed. So, they would never let anyone climb the ladder. They would beat up whoever tried. This makes logical sense because, you know, those original five monkeys were getting sprayed. But what they did was, then they took out one of the old monkeys and put a new monkey in. And, you know, the, the original four monkeys knew about the shower thing, so they beat up that one whenever he tried to get up on uh, the top of the ladder against the banana. Then they replaced another monkey, and then they replaced another monkey. Eventually, there was no original monkeys. None of these people had experienced the shower phenomenon. They were all new, but because of the conditioning of previous monkeys telling them to never go up the ladder in the first place, they never did. All five monkeys would beat up newer monkeys trying to go up the ladder even though they didn't no longer know why they were not supposed to go up the ladder. So since we know that primates are the closest things to human DNA, it's not surprising that humans act in a very similar manner. And that you don't have, that people don't have to know why something is a rule in order to obey it. They will just fucking obey it. It's not right. It shouldn't be that way. But that's how people are. And a lot, there's a lot of people out there that take advantage of that. Alex Jones being one of them. Moderators being another. And that's something that Mark Anthony doesn't want to talk about. That's something nobody wants to talk about. Everybody wants to act like, I'm just the problem. I'm just being butt hurt because, what, because I want freedom? That's such a terrible thing to want. I'm being so ridiculous. Because I feel I'm entitled to being able to browse on the internet and not being harassed. That if I buy a video game and want to play it, I should be able to fucking play it whenever I want to. And under no circumstance, that be compromised? Why am I even having to argue this point with you? So, you know, there is, there is no amount to describe how far we've sunk. Like, I cannot put into words how far this battle has to go. This, this is ridiculous levels. You know, that's why I don't, I don't debate with people usually. Because I'm not gonna let them control the argument down to pinpointing, what about this problem, what about this problem? No. It's the whole fucking thing. You haven't even begun to understand how bad the situation is. Because one thing leads to another. You know, if we were to say, well, why don't, you know, why do we get banned from video games we pay for? Why do we get banned in general? It's, it's not the point of the video games. The point is, people should not be getting banned. Yes, there are certain situations that are more visible, and these are examples of the wrongness, and I'm, I don't think wrongness is a word, but you get what I'm saying. These are prime examples of why it's wrong, but it doesn't cover the essential issue. It doesn't cover the essential issue that it's never right to begin with. And when you say that, oh, well, you know, people shouldn't be get, be, getting banned from video games, you're demeaning the prospect of your own freedom. You are saying, oh, it's not right to ban people from video games, but somehow it's right to ban people anywhere else. That's how people are going to interpret that. If you allow the debate to be controlled in that way, or you're focusing on the video games aspect, then people are just going to think it's about the video games and not about the fact that your freedom is being trampled upon. That's why usually I don't debate with people one-on-one, -on -one because I'm not going to play that game with people. I'm not going to play that game with people that somehow it's about the issue. It's about society. It's about this sick culture we have where we're all afraid to go up the ladder and we don't even know why. Just because of generation after generation of conditioning and abuse and ritualistic rape and shit like that, we're all left on the bottom of the ladder Wondering why the, where the fuck our freedom went. Where the fuck everything went. We don't have anything. And nobody wants to discuss that because they're afraid of something. They don't even know what that something is. But they know it has to be something. Or else the other four monkeys wouldn't be acting viciously to the fifth monkey. Now would they? That's what it comes down to. It's science. It's just dialectics. And... You know, Alex Jones' cult especially does not want to admit that. You know, they're so worried about the truth. That's the truth. You're a monkey. I'm a monkey. Everybody's a fucking monkey. And we're all afraid to go up that ladder because of the consequences of our actions.
Well, guess what? There's already consequences. The consequences are, we're at the bottom of the fucking ladder. We're getting absolutely nothing out of it. And there's always this illuminating threat that we're going to be punished for something we do, did or didn't do. Half of the time, we don't even have to fucking do anything. And we still get punished. There is no reason not to climb the top of the ladder. I don't care who it hurts. I don't even care if it hurts me. I don't fucking care. Because you have not given me a reason to care. I act on rationality. And rationality dictates that I need to know what the problem is, why it's a problem, and how that problem can be fixed. You don't want to give me answers, and you won't let me ask questions, so fuck you. I want my rights, and I want them right now. I guess that's all I have to say.